Hi, this is Scott with a few of the updates to our Google universe. All right. First off, Google is going to change the Compose button back to the longer version. Earlier, Google made the icon smaller, but apparently the smaller icon was not liked by all, so they are switching back. Next, there is going to be some improvements with Google Sites navigation menus. You can simply select New Menu and add and remove pages to allow more flexibility when creating the navigation within your site. Not quite rolled out, uh, as you can see on this page. Uh, there are some very new and very nice updates that have been appeared in Google Sheets this month. They may be turned on for you. Um, some of the features have been reorganized and added for more intuitive locations. For example, you can now freeze a row or column right from the right-click menu. Icons have been added to help locate features more easily, and some descriptions of items in the menus are shorter, enabling faster recognition. There are several updates made across all the menu sheets. You can see here now each of the menu items has an icon, and they have been shortened. There are some updates coming to your contents, your contacts page. There will be more information about your contacts that will be added to your contacts listing. One item that I like that you will be able to see now is a list of any of the drive files a user has shared with you right in your contact listing, among several other points of information. Google has added a universal insertion menu to easily add things like tables and images in addition to smart chips directly in Google Docs. Simply type the at symbol and you'll see a list of recommended files, people and meetings, as well as other different content elements to, to insert inside your work or inside of a Google Doc. You can now add a page break before paragraphs in Google Docs. This is particularly useful if you want a certain paragraph style to always create a new page such as titles, subtitles, and headings. So I guess the new buzzword in business is core work. I think it just means the work you're supposed to do anyway. Well, Google has added a new calendar entry type called focus time. Is that like hammer time? I guess not. Google's thinking is that with working environments having changed so much this past year and having more chats and meetings than before, it makes it more difficult for people to carve out time for their core work. So in, a, in essence, that just tells me that it's a calendar event that might have been labeled, leave me alone to do my work time. I like to think of my focus time really as nap time. Thanks, Google. I needed a nap time calendar event button. There are a few changes that are happening to the participant field in Gmail. Google is adding better visual indicators such as the avatar chip, which is helpful for identifying who has been added to the email. Also, highlighting external participants that have been added to an email. And my favorite, the, hey, you already added that guy, checkmark reminder for those old Googlers that are losing their memory. What was I saying? Oh. Um, finally, about a year too late, sorry about the editorial comments, meeting hosts in Google Meet can now use audio and video lock to turn off the microphones and or cameras of other participants in the meeting and prevent them from turning them back on until you unlock them in the main and in the breakout rooms. All right, just about ready to wrap it up here. Lastly, but not least, I just learned about AppSheet, the no-code platform, sounds like I'm selling it, the no-code platform from Google that allows you to create your own apps, such as the merging and real-time updating of spreadsheet information into other applications without learning how to code. I'm sure this is not new, and it looks awesome, and I can't wait to try and break it. Well, that's just some of the good stuff that's coming your way from Google. Thanks.